Tampa woman is thanking people who came to her rescue during a brutal beating. That unprovoked attack happened last Friday in broad daylight, and tonight we're hearing from the victim and the two men who she says saved her life. She was attacked just a few blocks off Tampa's Bayshore Boulevard along Watrous Avenue in Tampa's upscale Hyde Park neighborhood. News Channel East Jeff Patterson joining us live with this story tonight. Jeff, this is a very common area for walkers. I've been in this area myself many, many times. I'm looking at people doing just that very thing at this very moment, Keith. This is the kind of neighborhood where you think you could walk safely at any time. But that certainly wasn't the case last Friday, just after 6 p.m. As she walked through this Hyde Park neighborhood, Taylor, the victim, first noticed a woman in a car pointing behind her and yelling for her to run. She turned to see a man chasing her. I said, you know, no, no, and he just laughed, and all of a sudden I took off running, and he took off after me, and I screamed, screamed as loud as I could, help. But the man didn't stop. He attacked her. He was just coming at me laughing, and he ended up grabbing my ponytail and threw me down and started punching me, um, and he punched me repeatedly and was, was laughing. At that moment, Tampa attorney Charles McKeon and his son saw what was going on. I mean, just wailing on her. McKeon carries a concealed weapon. He pulled his gun and yelled at the attacker to stop. The attacker turned on McKeon. He came at me and he hit me in the head. I fell backwards, hit the back of my head on the sidewalk, and things got a little blurry at that point. Thankfully, his son stepped in. I saw him strike my dad, and then um, I saw my dad on the ground, and he looked pretty disjointed and just out of it. The attacker ran, and police arrested Esha Nadopa, charging him with aggravated battery with great bodily harm. After she recovered a bit, the victim reached out to McKeon to thank him. The two of them really did save me. And that touched McKeon. It really touched my heart, and I just feel so bad for her. I just wish we could have been there sooner. But he says this is a cautionary story for us all. She was minding her own business, out for a jog in broad daylight when she was attacked for no reason. So this could happen to anyone. So people just need to be diligent in making sure of their surroundings. The attacker that has been charged in this case, Essa Nadopa, is six feet tall, 180 pounds. I just spoke to another witness who saw all of this go down. He says the attacker was a really big man, and thankfully, Mr. McKeon and his son were there at the right time doing the right thing. Keith? Well, we, we've seen the victim here. I mean, it looks like she's got some uh, bruising and so forth. How is she doing right now, and does... Does she reflect on this and think, uh, why her? Why, why did he come after her when, when she thinks about it? Yeah, yeah, no question about it, Keith. Uh, she has a concussion. Uh, she has a broken nose. As you saw, she has some bruising around the face. But the most difficult thing for her, she says, is that she likes to walk as kind of a release, as do many of us, just kind of walk in a peaceful area. And it might take her a while to get back for that. Uh, as to why this attacker chose her, that's one of the most frightening things. There's no known motive, no reason for this attack, no ties. Uh, Tampa police say the, the attacker has no known ties to the Tampa area, and they list him as homeless. All right, thank you, Jeff. Got to watch your back and uh, watch your neighbor's back, too. All right.